Hi viewers, welcome to the channel and to another tutorial. In this video, you'll see how to design the model of practical exercise 99 in part of bench. And to succeed this design, we'll also need to use the draft and sketch uh, workbench. I hope you like this video. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. And also, if you haven't seen the design process of the model in part design, you can see it. Just click in the card to see the video. Let's create a new document. Just click in this icon and now change to part of bench and now let's go to this string page here we can see these all the missions these videos and sessions here to create this part so first here we'll start by using this tool here cylinder tool to create all cylinders here so first we'll start by creating a cylinder with range of 20.3 and height of 15 millimeters. Select this tool here, cylinder tool, and then select this cylinder. And now, what we'll do is to change the dimension of this cylinder. So we go to cylinder radius. Here we need to change to 20.3 millimeters, like so. And here, the height is 15. Enter, and now just press on. The next thing to do is to rotate this cylinder so how we do that we select the cylinder and then right click on mouse and select transform tool and now we rotate the cylinder and the x axis and now just click ok and we have this okay next let's create this cylinder here what you do we select this tool again cylinder tool and now we select the cylinder and the first thing that we'll do with this cylinder is to change the attachment we we'll attach the cylinder here in this space. So how we can do that? First, we can select the cylinder and click on mouse, and we'll find this option, attachment editor. Or we can just select the cylinder and go to map mode. And now just click here, and again in these three dots, and now we have this. So now we select this face here, and now just click OK, and select the cylinder, and now that. 10 millimeters and here we'll change to 7 and now we have this okay and the next step is to create a fusion of these two parts here how we do that we need to select these two parts here and then go to this tool union tool just click here and now as you can see we have this fusion part okay it's okay now okay the next steps is to create these holes here so we go to FreeCut and again we use this tool here, Cylinder. We select the cylinder and the first thing that we'll do is to change the attachment, map mode, just click here. And now select this face and we need to reverse the duration of the cylinder. So we check this option and then scroll up and OK. And now we select the cylinder again and we change the dimensions here. The range will be the half of 35. So here we set 35 divided by 2 and the height here will be 5 millimeters. We change here to 5 and enter. Okay, now we have this. Let's hide this main part here. Select the fusion and spacebar. As you can see, we have this cylinder, this cylinder here. Next, we create another cylinder and we change the attachment. Just click here and select this face. And then OK to select the cylinder and we go to radius and we need to change the radius here to the half of 15. We'll set 7.5 here and height will be 1.2, the estimation. OK, now we have this. Let's create another cylinder and also let's change the attachment let's select this face here and then okay and now we go to the dimensions first we select the cylinder here and we go to the dimensions and we change to we'll change the radius here to five millimeters this radius here let's add five here and next the height we can set 22 no problem okay now let's Use these all cylinders, select these three cylinders in this way, and then union tool. And now let's make this part here visible, spacebar. 
Okay, and the next step now is to subtract this fusion part from this main part here. So first you need to select this main part, fusion, and now control and select this part here and next cut to. And as you can see now we have this, we have these holes. And now let's create a hole in this face here. How we do that? We can use this tool here. Tool tool, just click here. And let's change the dimensions here. The outer radius will be the half of 35 millimeters. Let's change here to 35 divided by 2. And the inner radius will be will be the radius of this cylinder here. So we'll set 10 millimeters here and the height will be will be three millimeters. Let's change to three and enter. And next we'll change the attachment of this part here. So how we do that? We we'll select this tube and then go to map mode. Just click here two times and now select this face and as you can see we need to reverse the duration of this part here so we'll scroll down here and we check this option and enter now we have this and the next thing to do is to subtract this part here from this part so we we'll select this part and now control this part and now cut to and we have this as you can see and the next step is to create these two fillets in this edge we have this fillet and this fillet here so we can select this edge here and then go to fillet tool just click here and now we go to radius and here we need to change to two millimeters and enter and the next step now is to select this edge here select this edge and go to fillet tool and as you can see we have one millimeter here so we don't have to change this just click ok and now we have this and next here what do you do let's create this chamfer here let's select this surface here and then chamfer to this icon here and just click ok and as you can see we have this message here nothing selected so Let's close this and here. What you need to do is to select this edge. Just select this edge here and rotate this model and select this edge. And now, as you can see here, we have these two edges selected. Okay, so now just click OK. And as you can see, we have this chamfer now. Okay, now that we have this part here, let's create this pocket. To create this pocket, we'll use a sketch. Okay. Click here and select sketch or bench and now we'll create the sketch here in this face so we need to select this face here and then click on this icon to create a sketch can be in plain face no problem just click ok and now here zoom in and select external jump tool and let's extract these two circular edges here and next select ball line tool these two here and draw this sketch Okay, this line here must be a horizontal line. Select this and set horizontal. And next, select this constraint here and constraint this point in this edge. And this point here in this edge. And the same with this point here. And now we have this. And next, we need to select this all here, constraint angle. And now to select these two lines here and the angle here, as you can see, is 45 degrees. Okay, and now skip two times to leave this sketch. And now we go to the part workbench and we'll create an extrusion of this sketch. To do that, we need to select this sketch and use this tool here, extrude. Just click here and let's change the length here to something like 25 millimeters and enter. As you can see, we have this extrusion, but in the wrong direction. We can change this. Just go to extrude and scroll down to reverse it. Change here to true and enter. Now as you can see, we have this. And the next thing to do is to create a polar array of this part here using the draft or bench. So let's change here to draft, select draft. 
and first let's hide this grid here just clicking this icon and the next select this extrude and click here and select polar array okay these points here must be zero and now just click ok and as you can see we have this polar array but in the wrong way so let's change this select this array and now scroll down and go to go to axis just click here scroll down now and and what we need to do here is to change the axis of this array we need to change this axis to y axis okay so we set one here and we change here to zero and now we have this let's make the chamfer visible spacebar as you can see we have these five parts here and we need to change the number of these parts here to 30 so we select this array and we go to number polar and we set we change here to 30 and enter and now as you can see we have these all parts here we have this array now we go to the part workbench okay and what we will do now is to subtract these all parts from this part here so first we select this chamfer and now control select this array and cut to and we have this okay next let's create a sketch for this tooth here what you do we need to change to the sketch workbench and then select this face here and create a sketch turn face okay and now select external jump tool and extract this edge here and the next select arc tool click in this origin point and what we'll do now is to draw two arcs we'll draw this first arc here in this edge and now click in this origin point again and draw this arc okay and next we'll draw this arc here draw this arc and also this arc here and now select line tool and connect this point with this point here this point and this point okay and the next thing that we'll do is to create this fillet here select fillet tool this tool here and now these two lines and now escape and drag this line here in this way select fillet tool again and create this fillet okay now we have this let's select equal constraint and make these two arcs equal and also these two lines here and these two arcs and now select horizontal constraint and make these two points horizontal and also these two points horizontal okay now let's hide our constraints here and next let's draw these two cycles here to draw these two cycles we'll use construction geometers first we click in this icon here to change the geometers to construction lines and we select cycle 2 now what you do we click in this origin point and next we click in this point here and we click again and now in this point okay okay and now let's drag this point here okay and next you select this point and the cycle and place this constraint here what do you do okay now let's select constraint angle just click in this icon and select these two lines here and let's change the angle here to 15 degrees as you can see here 15 degrees and the next let, let's set the horizontal distance of these points here let's select horizontal distance too and now this point and this point here the distance is 4.66 okay and these two points here the distance is six millimeters okay now we have four degrees of freedom let's select constraint radius and for this cycle here let's set a radius of 22.55 and this cycle here let's add 24.1 
okay and next we have this radius 27 for this arc here and next clicking this arc here and we need to set a resolve 50 okay and now escape two times to leave this sketch now let's move to the part of bench okay now we need to create a copy of this sketch what do you do we select this sketch and now copy and here we use original selections and let's pass this sketch here and next we'll change the attachment of this sketch here then click on mouse and select attachment editor and the first thing that will change will be will be the z duration of this sketch so we go to z duration and we change to 15 this distance here let's add 15 okay we need to reverse the sketch check this option flip sides and and the next here we change this angle We'll change here to 10 degrees, as you can see here. Let's change to 10. And now scroll up and just click OK. And we have these two sketches. And now to create a salt with these two sketches here, we'll use this tool here, Love Tool. So click here in this icon and here in this task panel, let's select this sketch and click in this arrow. Select this sketch and click on this arrow. And we need to check this option to create a solid. Okay, and now just click OK. And as you can see, now we have this tooth here. Okay, now that we have this part here, we can create a polar array of these parts. So to do that, we need to change to the draft or bench. And then select this loft operation and go to polar array and here we can set five no problems just click ok and as you can see we have this problem let's fix this just select this array and scroll down go to axis and we set one for the y axis and zero for the z axis and next let's change the number of elements to 16 go to number polar and change to 16 and enter let's move to part of bench and what we'll do here is to create a fusion of these two parts here so let's select these all parts and then union 2 refresh and now as you can see we have this part here we finish the design of this model we have to hide these two sketches here to do that we go to fusion click on this arrow Go to Array and Loft and now just select these two sketches here and Spacebar to hide. We finish the design of this model. Thank you for watching this video. If you found this video useful, please leave a like, a comment and share this video with your friends. And also if you want to support the channel, you can do that. Just go to the description of this video and you'll find a link to my Ko-Fi page. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you in the next video.